Hello everybody, welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Me and old dad just got back from Dias Air Force Base the other day. That was something else, wasn't it dad? It sure was. Uh, that, uh, that Louis <coughs> Gonzalez and his backseater there, Kyle, they was so nice. It was, it was just incredible. Just let us go off through the plane and uh, take all the pictures we wanted. And really nice research and development trip, that's what it was. But we got back, took us a couple of days to recoup. That's hard on a couple old busted up guys like me and dad. But here's where we are. I got my nacelle, almost finished. I wanted to go over these panel lines one more time. I took and drew all these on with a pencil. And then went over it with my 1 inch grafting tape. Okay. Then sprayed three heavy, heavy coats of primer on it. I put one kind of light coat just to get a, just to get some primer on there, and let that kind of set up. And then a really heavy coat, let that set up, and uh, another really heavy coat, so we get some nice depth on our panel lines. Now here I have this sanded. See, and you want to sand that that lug off of there. You want to get that just even going across there and uh, then your tape comes off real smooth there's a nice crisp line with no jagged edges if you try to pull these off with the primer on there it tends to break them edges and uh, leave a rough edge and for these little marks here I uh, just put some masking tape on there put three layers and then cut it out with an exacto did my priming and you just pull them out and uh, just leaves a really neat finish and over here we've been working on a mock-up for our Bombay doors I made this is just a rough mock-up this ain't even a prototype yet just to kind of get my movement of my doors I know these are too long I need to trim them down and make them a little skinnier but this is how you start but uh, they work really easy and then there's no load on the servo, whether they're up, whether they're down, because all the load is supported by this rod. See, I've got it hinged right there, and then it's hinged right there. And the weight of the door is on that rod, so it won't load your servos up. So it'll just take one servo to open and close them. And you can have a B1 bomber with bomb bay doors without having a bomb drop. See what I did is I took their ratcheting device and uh, the real B ones. That's eight spaces and it's a little bit bigger than a a paper towel holder. And uh, we got this shaft coming out and I made me a sprocket and uh, took a servo, just just a cheap servo, and I actually took it apart and took the stopping mechanism in it so it can just turn. I'm going to plug it in, Dan. And uh, it will just turn around and spit out one bomb at a time. And that just goes around and hits that. It is just so simple. And uh, we'll be able to drop eight bombs out of this bomb bay. And uh, I'm going to just take this same rod. And then my front bomb bay is only about that far away. So my middle bomb bay and my front bomb bay will be hooked up to the same piece of pipe. And uh, I'll be able to stagger that just a little bit to where it'll go boom, 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 and drop bombs as I go across the sky. <laughs> and uh, we'll probably make them out of styrofoam. I just took that paper towel deal and made them just a little bit bigger than a paper towel tube. And uh, it's going to work out just great. Then I'm going to make a, I'll actually make that out of fiberglass. Take me some foam and I'll glass it and get me a. That'll need to be a whole ring to hold my bombs in place. They'll have to be loaded from the bottom. You just put a bomb in there, turn it, put a bomb in there and turn it, put a bomb in there and turn it until you get it fully loaded and just leave it on the center. And that's where the servo picks it up real good too and hits the bomb. Okay, we got some other stuff too. Dad found us a powder coating system for our landing gear. So we got them working, we got them re-engineered, and uh, oh, they're, they're really coming out nice now. And we're going to be able to powder coat them and put an awesome finish. 
Okay, another thing. Remember when we was talking about getting them actuators for my painting gear? Well, these things have been back ordered for three months. Still ain't been able to get them. So, look what me and Dad found. A hydraulic system for landing gear. We found these from a Euro, court, Euro Kit USA. Just happened to have two in stock, ordered them both. That comes with a hydraulic pump, reservoir, the valve, T's, check valve, and you plug this into a, a separate battery pack so it don't run off your flight pack and uh, into your motor. And uh, we will have hydraulic landing gear. We got our air cylinders ordered. They should be here in a day or two. So that's what we're going to do this week. I'm going to get that in a cell ready to mold. And Dad, when he gets them air cylinders, we're going to hook them up to that landing gear and uh, get us a, get us our bulkhead made that goes across. Grab that, grab that bulkhead down there. Then, basically what we need to do is uh, make two, two bulkheads to hold our wing. And they're going to be quarter inch aluminum and just probably a little bit farther apart than this, but a quarter piece of quarter inch aluminum and a quarter inch aluminum that will have our mechanism to hold our wing. And uh, we're thinking about using uh, wheel bearings out of cars. You know, uh, they're heavy duty, they got a taper on them, and uh, you know, they'll just put up with all kinds of punishment in vehicles, so they just might work really good in this. But uh, that's kind of where we are. And once, once we get them made out of aluminum, we can get our landing gear mounted to them, get this hydraulic set up, and make sure it fits in our plane. And once it fits, we're going to lay one up. Because we, we have to have all this done. Because we, we got that so big, it's got to be installed before I put the two halves together on the center section. So that's really why we can't lay one up at the moment. But we're getting there. It won't be long. Next week or two, we'll, we'll be there. But till then, we will see you guys back at the shop.